We're here with Anton, the founder of FluffTech. How are you, Anton? I'm doing very well, and it's a pleasure to be here and talk to you, you know, about the exciting times in the crypto industry. It's a pleasure. So tell me about your day here at Crypto Expo and what your goal is. So I have to say, first of all, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with what I see here. The vibe is great. The people are full of energy. There's a lot of uh, presenting companies. And I think overall, it's a very, very positive uh, experience. You know. But why is that a bit kind of unusual is because objectively, we're in a crypto bear market or crypto winter. So I think maybe Dubai is kind of showing where we might be going in the future in terms of how the industry is evolving, mainly may maybe in the next year or so we might come out of that crypto bear market and we might see a more brighter and happier environment and future for the crypto industry. So what have been some of those challenges during this time, this bear market specifically for, for your company? So I have to say that for the whole industry, the biggest, the challenges actually began last year when actually one of the world's biggest hedge funds, 3 Arrow Capital, blew up or bankrupted, however you want to call it. That kind of caused or sparked a lot of contagion in our industry, which culminated with the blow up of uh, FTX, the cryptocurrency exchange. So I think what we saw that uh, that was actually a very strong foundation. What's what's happening now? And that's actually a very strong regulatory reaction. Meaning, I'm sure you follow like I do. What's happening kind of out of what's coming out of US, which is a very harsh feedback and very harsh communication towards our industry. But also, we have to reflect that this is an opportunity for other jurisdictions, like Dubai as well, to take an opportunity of that attract the smartest and best minds and people and projects and bring them here. Definitely. I think in Dubai here, there is the, the government is much more open to working with crypto companies and the regulatory landscape is, is easier to navigate. Would you say that's the case? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you make a very, very good point now. Uh, actually, a regulator, a Dubai regulator called VARA came out with the regulatory framework and guidelines for all sorts of crypto companies. And I think it provided a very clear foundation how crypto companies need to approach both the industry from a regulatory perspective, but both also how we can evolve going forward. I think this is a very, regulatory frameworks are very, very positive, actually. I am in Switzerland for almost 15 years now. We had a very similar um, uh, communication and, and relationship with the regulator. I think maybe Dubai is copying the best, you know, from Switzerland. And overall, I think this is very, very positive what's happening for our industry. Yeah. And so for FluffTech specifically, what would you say your user base is experiencing right now? Where are those users and, and how can they better take advantage of these conditions? So uh, market makers serve exchanges and projects who issue tokens. Now, obviously, the exchange landscape is changing a lot because the second largest crypto exchange blew up some months ago. So I think now that also means from a, a risk management perspective, uh, market makers need to be very careful where they operate now because maybe we don't know if something further will come down the road. I hope not. But definitely there is still opportunity because there's a lot of volatility in the, mar in the markets. Project perspective, I have to say that what I feel is that the crypto winter is ongoing, meaning projects are delaying listings meaning then they're delaying working with the market maker. And I think all of the market makers, myself as well, see that. Uh, but nevertheless, you know what we see here and the great vibe gives me a lot of optimism. So hopefully things change very soon. Good, good. let's stay optimistic and positive. Thank you, Anton. Pleasure to be with you.